video, I'm going to explain how to download Oracle XCA software and how to install into your computer. See, open Google and search for Oracle 11G download express edition. And here it is the first one Oracle database 11G release to express edition for Windows 64. See here, whenever we open this website, first of all, it will show that latest version. So that is 21C, right? Or 22. That latest release it will show. But here it is, we are going to we are going to install that some old version that is 11G because as a more compatibility, whenever you are writing the JDBC programs easily from Java, that is a reason. See here, as we in the answers, so suppose here, one Oracle database of software's download is there. This is Express Edition. So when we click on this one, it is showing, see, it is showing that 19.5, 19.3 and 21.3 like that. Some latest versions it is showing. So that's why here it is go back. And here it is checking that XC prior releases. Some prior releases are there. Here it is. So whenever you just go down somewhere, the links are available. Suppose oracle.com, some prior releases.com. See here it is directly available. Whenever you click on download, just click on download. If you already sign in with your account, then it will be downloaded automatically. With one click, see, look at this download started here. Download started or else, right? In some of the situations, right? It will ask you for sign in details, view accounts. See here it is, I'm already signing. Suppose if I sign out, if I sign out and whenever I try to download this one, it will go to accounts. Here it is, enter your username and password. See here it is, whenever we click on sign in, then only we can start the download or else we cannot. If you don't have Oracle account, no problem. You can create with your account as a student, your email ID, email ID, password, retype the password, just country name, give your name, job title, student. You can give the work phone directly, company name as a student, address, the location, any location you can give with the postal and everything, you just create the account. Once you create the account, then, then go back and sign, sign in with your details. Suppose here it is, I'm just giving my details. I email ID and with, a, with my sign in details, I'm going to sign in. Then see automatically download started. I have already downloaded. So that's why I'm going to cancel this one. Here, now I'm going to download the option in my system in downloads or I can download it. See automatically that compressed zip folder will come. Right here it is a zip folder will come that you need to extract zip folder. Just right click on that zip folder, right click and then extract all here. If you just click on this option, then automatically that folder will be created like this. This is the zip folder. And this is extracted folder from that zip folder. Here, whenever you click on this, here it is in disk one, that setup file is available. Just click on that setup file. Then your setup starts. Here it is extracting the data from that 11G Express edition. It will show that window. After extraction, just follow the steps one by one, one by one. Just click on next, next, next. In the middle, you have to give you that your username. I mean, password for your username you have to provide. See here. Just click on next. Accept the license agreement and click on next. Oracle 11G Express Edition. See in C drive, the default folder in C drive, right? Oracle XE folder will be created. And in that, the files will be present. Click on next. And just give enter and confirm passwords for the database. This password will be used for both sys and system database accounts. See here, I'm giving that password name is admin and confirm that is admin. Just click on next. That install, then automatically it will be installed.
wait for few minutes until it is installed See, once the configuration is completed, just we click on the finish option. So the database installation is completed. Then how to open the database and how to use. Here it is in the search option. You can search for SQL, SQL plus, or directly you can give the command. You can give the command is a SQL plus. Instead of giving this one, just with the command, with the command SQL plus. If you give the command, it will open. What is the command? SQL plus. Here it is. You can change the font size. And now it is expecting that username, what you have given there, admin. Password is also, I have given that admin. Let's wait. invalid username and password that logon denied it is saying that right why it is once it is created that so once the configuration settings completed you can finish it after finished right now i want to work with that oracle database how to open oracle database Right. First of all, we need to open the open from the command prompt, nothing but from the run prompt, just by holding the windows key. If you press R, then it will open. And here you have to type the command is a SQL plus. Command is SQL plus. Just click on OK. Now, here it is. If you want to change the size, font size and everything, you can change the size here. Enter username. So what is that username system? And what is the password I have given admin? So then it is connected. If you want to create the table, just create table. And what is the table name student? And all columns we are giving, for example, student number. So that is number, size five, and student name. I'm just giving that where cap two of size is 20, like that simple student table I have created. Wait. Missing right parenthesis. That is where cat two. Now the table created. If you check that table created or not, table description student. Yes, with the two columns table created. Now you can perform all database operations like insertion, deletion. Right? All these operations we can. So this is how we are installing that Oracle database 11G. Hope you understood. Please try to install in your computers. Thank you all.